Okay, today we're going to be talking about the uh, Steel 400C and the uh, Husqvarna 562. Um, I did a, a video here a while back about the uh, 545 and the uh, 550, which one should you buy? And I thought I'd kind of do something similar with the, uh, the uh, 562 and the 400 here and talk about the... Uh, the new versions that are coming out of these two styles. And I'll tell you what my dislikes and likes are and which one's the better value. Um, we'll start off with the uh, 562 here. Uh, this is the, the Gen 1 model. There is a, uh, a Mark II that has come out. And uh, they're supposed to fix the, uh, the issues that it was the uh, first gen was having with, you know, like your uh, crank seals and um, uh, your bearings and all that. Uh, they're supposed to have fixed all that. Uh, this saw uh, the first time, actually the second time, I played around with it the first time right after buying it new. Um, and then the first time I went to actually cut with it, it, it died with me and the, um, the uh, ignition coil went out in it. And that was back when Husqvarna was trying to do uh, consolidate. They were shutting down warehouses and consolidating everything. And I ended up having to wait like 10 weeks just to get the part in for it. Um, but as far as chain speed on the uh, 562, it will keep up with the 400C in most wood. But... Uh, Weight-wise, the 400C weighs just a, a little bit less than the uh, 562. And the price-wise, let's talk about price. The, the 562, it does cost less. Um, I've been sending them for right around $850. Uh, whereas the uh, 400C cost around, uh, I think it's around $1,100 uh, for one of those. So, uh, let's talk about the 400C now. Um, I've, I've been seeing some stuff online. I follow some of the chainsaw stuff on Facebook and all. And I seen a guy uh, complaining about uh, what the oiler on it wasn't oiling good. But he had a 24 inch bar on it. Um, really, on these saws, if you're going to run anything longer than a 20 inch, you need to upgrade it to the uh, 462 oiler. Um, on the new version, I don't know if they fixed that yet or not. The new versions will not be out until next year. I have seen some stuff over seas uh, in Europe and all where they're already, I guess, testing them or whatever. But I have not seen none in the U.S. yet. Um, the, the newer version is going to be a... Well, if you do the math by the horsepower, it's going to be a 62.4 cc engine. Uh, this has got a 67 on it. So I don't know how less cc's is going to uh, be on that saw. The, uh, the Husky 562 is a 60cc saw. Um, I just noticed that it, it's got a different muffler. And uh, it's got a different uh, top case and all that on it. Uh, but I, I really like the 400C. Um, especially with the bark box on it. Uh, putting a bark box on one of these really brings the saw to life. Um, I did switch it back to uh, the factory uh, muffler at one time. Put this back on there and uh, it just wasn't very impressive at all. Um, I, uh, you know, quickly switched it back out to the uh, bark box. But yeah, the uh, the West Coast Bark Box really wakes the saw up. And uh, 
The 400C has a magnesium piston. The, the new one coming out, they're calling it the uh, 400.1. Uh, they've done away with the magnesium piston. Uh, and the uh, 400.1 is supposed to be uh, just a little bit lighter. Um, they're saying that it's going to have the best power to weight ratio out there. Which, it's hard to believe because I think this is really the best power to weight ratio there is. Um, I don't know, I might pick one of those up when it comes available. I don't know yet. Okay, now let's talk about the ergonomics of the saws. Um, I don't fail that much, that many trees. Um, but I really like the 562 felling over 400C. But when it comes to firewood cutting, uh, bucking wood and all, I prefer the uh, 400C. Uh, when you get your bar in full length, that extra few CCs does show up. And, uh, and as y'all know, I do uh, noodle my firewood before I throw it in the truck if it's heavy. Uh, I don't use the axe because I've uh, I've had wrist problems and swinging the axe and the sudden stop of my axe hurts my wrist. So I'd rather just noodle the uh, the wood, and um, I can run a chainsaw all day. Now when I'm noodling wood, um, the 400C works a lot better because it's got a, a bigger open space here for the noodles to get out of. Um, it seems like on the uh, 562, they uh, clog up right here a little bit easier, faster. So all around performance and price taken into consideration, I think that the 5, uh, 562 XP is the better um, value. Um, but I really do love the 400C. Uh, if the price was a little bit closer, I would pick that saw over the 562. But with the price difference, I'm going to have to go with the 562. Um, I hope this kind of helps some people. I know that the, uh, the steel um, 362 is probably the closer a comparison saw than the 400C, but the 400C is supposed to be better than that saw. Um, but between these two saws, I would go with the 562 just because of price. Um, it's a very, it's an excellent saw. It's got the chain speed uh, to keep up with the 400 in most wood. So, hope this helps y'all. I have been doing a little bow hunting. Bow season is open now. And uh, I got that the other day. Snakes are really, really bad this year, though. And I got this wood over here. I got to get in the... Uh, busted up, get in the shed. Uh, it's kind of worn back up here in Georgia. Uh, it's in the middle ages now but uh i did go yesterday and uh, they had a, a voluntary search for the uh missing uh guy that if you'd watch some other videos uh we had like 60 62 people i think is what we had show up and uh search for him um we did not find him so to uh give you a little funny story um while I was over there searching, I uh, came up on some uh, a carcass. And you know, when you're hunting someone who's been missing for 80 days, you expect there to be nothing but bones. And uh, it looked, it appeared to be, to be him. 
I thought it was human remains. And uh, of course, you know, I just come up on the spine and uh, it's some, uh, I guess, fingers and all, and they looked human. So uh, they had the, the investigators and the sheriff was there uh, in case anybody found him anything but I was in a place where I didn't have service so I had to go to the top of the mountain uh, call and get them to come up there to where I was at and uh, when they came we got to looking around and uh, we actually found the skull and it was a bear you would not believe how much a bear carcass looks human um, it was kind of embarrassing for me, uh, but you know, I don't know. I just leave it at that. It was embarrassing. So, thanks for watching.